Hello, welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to cover how you can find the zeros of a polynomial using a very special technique known as the U substitution. And this is a great technique to use on any polynomial as long as you say have two x's where one has a power twice as large as the other one. So the way this works is we're going to choose uh, something for U to substitute in here. So I'm going to choose that U is equal to x squared. This is actually going to simplify our calculations just a little bit and help me replace the x squared. Now, if I square the u and I square an x squared, this will also give me something to replace for x to the fourth. Let's put in these pieces here and see what this does to our polynomial. So now I have g of x is equal to, instead of x to the fourth, let's use the u squared minus 30 u plus 125. So by using these u's I now have a simpler polynomial. Now to factor this I can use say the quadratic formula or other things since now it is actually a quadratic. I'm just going to go ahead and factor this guy as it is because I recognize that u minus 5 and u minus 25 is what it factors into. This means that basically I have two zeros for this function when u is equal to 5 and when u is equal to 25. Now we want to go back and look at the original and remember that, oh wait a minute, this is all in terms of x. If I really want to find the zeros, I need to find the zeros also in terms of x. So let's go ahead and substitute our x's back in. So u is equal to x squared, and then I have two new equations to solve. So if we take the square root of both sides here, I have x is equal to, looks like, plus minus the square root of 5. Take the square root of both these sides, so x is equal to plus minus 5. So in total I have four zeros. I have plus minus the square root of 5 and plus minus 5. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.